Not gonna lie, the new iPhone SE is amazing. And I have a bunch of tips, tricks, and hidden features for the SE that you can also try out on your iPhone. From camera tricks to voice control, fingerprint lock, and a ton of other nifty tips. But also, stay until the end because I'm going to be giving away a bunch of brand new iPhone SE cases to some of you guys. So, let's get into it. So although the new iPhone SE is smaller and cheaper than the iPhone 11, it still packs a punch. And one of the very first nifty tips you can try out is when typing a message out in emails, perhaps your notes or in iMessage, as you can see, it's right over here. But if you give your phone a little shake, the bam, this pop-up window appears and you can click undo and it'll remove all your text. Then let's just say I wanted to move an app right over here. Well, what you can do is actually click and hold down on an app and then swipe right with your other hand and just let go. It's literally that simple. And another cool trick is if you click and hold down an app and then select other ones, it'll group them all together. Again, swipe left or right, let go and all your apps have been moved. Then this one is so awesome for quickly setting a timer. Instead of always looking for the clock app and then changing the features and all the rest, what you can do is swipe up on control center and then just click and hold down on the timer icon. Lo and behold, this awesome quick little timer feature pops up. You can choose your time, click start, and just like that, it'll start counting down. The iPhone SE also has voice control, which a lot of you seem to love. So if your hands are a bit full, you can control your phone like this. Hey Siri, turn on voice control. Okay, I've turned on voice control. Show names. Tap WhatsApp. Damn, I love voice control. Tap share media. Tap photo and video library. Show grid. Tap 23, tap send, turn off voice control. And the bam, just like that, I controlled my entire phone using just my voice. Onto some camera tricks and I bet you guys didn't know this one. So if you're busy taking a picture or video of something, nine times out of 10, it'll always track the focus. But if you click and hold down, you can lock the focus of the camera to that one point. And so no matter what moves when taking a picture, it'll always stay focused at that one point. I find this feature particularly useful, especially when taking videos with movement because I can just lock the focus on my face and then no matter what goes in the way of the camera, my face will always be in focus. And to turn it off, you just click and hold down. Then if you're busy taking pictures, but you decide you wanna take a video, all you do is click and hold down on the shutter button and then to lock it into video mode, you just swipe towards the right hand side. Your video will continue to record and you can obviously just click the stop button at any time. And then to take a bunch of burst shots, you can click the shutter button and swipe to the left hand side. It'll take a bunch as you can see. And then when you open up the gallery, all you do is you click that select button and you will see all your various burst shots that you just took. One of my favorite features about the new update is you can connect a mouse to your iPhone, guys. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your mouse is connected via Bluetooth. So you just open up the Bluetooth settings. As you can see, there's my mouse and I just connected it. And now that that's done, we can just finish the final process. So open up settings and then scroll down until you see accessibility. Once in accessibility, then go ahead and tap on the touch feature. Right at the top, you will see this option that says assistive touch. Make sure that is toggled on and like magic magic and your mouse is paired to your phone, you can see the cursor moving around all over the screen and you can use it exactly like you would a mouse on a computer. The scroll feature works, the right click and left click works. It's honestly a bunch of fun and do we really need computers anymore? I mean... <laughs> Now this home button function is super useful for a number of reasons. If you head on over to settings and then under accessibility, scroll down until you see touch again, make sure you select that option. And in there, once again, make sure assistive touch is on. Now, regardless of whether you're using a mouse or not, what this does is it adds an additional home button and you can customize this home button with a bunch of different settings. Not only that, once you've decided on the various settings for your home button, you can also change its opacity. So if you want it to be super dark 
as you can see over there, or super light, you decide, it's up to you. Why this home button is so nifty is because not only does it help when using a mouse, but because of all those extra functions. So with mine, if I tap it once, I get this whole new menu that pops up. If I click it twice, it takes a screenshot of my screen. And then if I click and long press, it opens up my recents. So this is a really cool little trick. And this could also help you if your physical home button on your phone is broken. Now, if you guys are into saving time like I am, then this one is gonna be amazing for you. If you ever find you have the same long sentence that you've gotta continuously type out, whether it's in your messages or emails, then what you can do is head on over to settings and scroll down until you see general. Make sure you go ahead and select general, and in there, you're gonna scroll down again until you see keyboard. Once in keyboard, you will see this option that says text replacement. Select that and then in the top right hand corner, click on the plus icon and now add that super long sentence that you always find yourself typing out and then you are going to give it a shortcut. So my shortcut is TYSM, thank you so much. I clicked on the save icon, it gets saved into my text replacements and then if I just type out TYSM, the bam, the entire phrase is there, I click on that, it auto populates, oh my goodness, I just saved you guys a bunch of time, okay? One thing you may want to buy with your iPhone SE to get even more space is this lightning flash drive made specifically for iPhones and iPads. Because with these new flash drives, all you do is you plug them straight into your phone and then you can copy any files just like you would with an SD card. So now if I'm in my gallery and I want to copy some images to my drive, I can just select the ones I want and then click on the share icon and save all my pictures straight to the USB drive or the other way around. So I'll have a link to this USB drive down below in case you're interested because this is a great way to get extra storage for your phone. Now, I don't know about you guys, but getting calls from unknown numbers is not my thing. And there is actually a way you can block them in settings. So if you head on over there and then scroll down all the way until you see phone, make sure you tap on that option and then scroll down again until you see the option that says silence unknown callers. Toggle that option on and then anytime in future now when someone with an unknown number calls you, you literally just get this simple notification and your phone doesn't even ring or vibrate, which I love. Another serious time-saving feature is smart transfer. So did you guys know if you hold your new iPhone close to your one with all your data and information, it automatically picks it up and wants to connect. Then all you do is follow the instructions. So you take a picture of your new phone using your old phone and they automatically connect and start transferring your data. It is the simplest thing and the best part guys is it sets up your new phone exactly the same way as your old phone was set up. Another super cool thing you can do if you want to keep some things a little extra safe is under the notes application, you can type in some passwords, paste pictures, or even some privately scanned documents. And then you can actually protect those files using fingerprint lock. All you do is tap on this little share icon and then scroll down until you see lock note. Tap on that and it'll ask you for your fingerprint, which you just pop in. And now your note is locked and safe. And now, if you want to check out your secret passwords or pictures, all you have to do is pop in your fingerprint, it'll unlock your note, and you're good to go. Then for some of my favorite quick tips, if you're busy scrolling through, say, Instagram, but you want to get back to the top of the page, just tap on the time as you see here, and your phone will automatically scroll back to the top of the page. It works in any application, so whether it's YouTube, Safari, or like I said, Instagram, tap on that time and you're back to the top. Then if you ever want to do a quick calculation, you don't necessarily have to open the calculator app. All you do is swipe right from your home screen, and then in the search bar, type out your calculation. So does anyone know what a hundred minus 16 is? Cause I do, it's 84. <laughs> then if you're ever in a pickle and need to level something out, click on the measuring app and then tap on this level icon on the bottom right hand side. Your phone will automatically turn into a level. It is the craziest thing and it is so accurate guys. So I just popped down a stack of papers, tried it out. And what's even more cool is when it is actually level, your phone turns green. It also works in parallel instances. So if you need to check if the search surface of something is flat, as you can see, it changes to this kind of diagram to make sure you get the ultimate flat surface. Hello, technology.
So guys, I've got a bunch of Spigen iPhone SE cases that I would love to give away to you guys. These are really great quality cases and a lot of them look so slick on the iPhone SE. I've got a couple of them myself that I love. So if you want to enter, all you got to do is make sure you're subbed to the channel and then comment down below what your favorite tip, trick or hidden feature was. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!